like to give you a quick overview of the Teasui Sketches School app. I'm going to tap it open for you and just kind of go over some of the basic features. So when you open up the app, you will probably see just one folder. I believe it is a yellow one. You can add additional folders if you want. And if you want to rename them, if you tap on the white bar, that will allow you to change the name on the folder. I'm gonna tap this open. And as you can see, I do have some pictures in here, but when you start fresh, there will not be any pictures, obviously, and you simply need to tap on the plus to open it up. And we're going to start just with a plain white background. These tools right here, these three little dots, are your sizes for your drawing tools. And um, some of the drawing tools, when you use a medium size, might be quite skinny, and sometimes they are quite thick. It just depends on the drawing tools. Here are the colors that you can pick between. They have just standard colors. You cannot customize them. I think I'm gonna to change to a blue color. I'm gonna put myself at the tiniest dot for a small um, brush or a drawing tool. And we are gonna just look today at the drawing tools. I'm gonna to do another video and talk about the tools that are in the lower part of this little drawing palette here. And when you draw close to here, these will disappear for you. I like to just do a little sample of the drawing tool. So let's take a look first of all at this pencil. And I'm gonna just do like a little scribble to see how thin it is when I do thin. Look at what the medium looks like. And then a little scribble to look at, oops, and I move this back. You can pinch this paper in and out as you are working if you need to. And that's what the thick looks like. And this one, as you do press harder, there is some pressure sensitivity and it does get thicker. You can also use the side of your Apple Pencil for shading with this, which is kind of cool. And a lot of people don't realize that. All right, let's go to the second one. I call that the skinny marker. And again, I'm gonna do small, do a little bit of medium and a little bit of large. And this drawing tool I use a lot just because it's good and basic, has good sizes for you. The next one is the thicker marker, the fat marker. And so I'm gonna go ahead and test that again and do small, medium, and the large. Now there's something interesting about this it, which is helpful to know. There's a little bit of transparency with this. So if I go over it a second time, I'm gonna pinch in, you can see that there's a shadow because there is some transparency. So this one is not necessarily going to be a great drawing tool if there's anything that is going to overlap because you will get that double, triple look. Sometimes it looks cool, Sometimes not a good option for you. Next one is what I call the skinny paintbrush or the calligraphy brush. And we've got small, oops, I didn't get the small. Small, let me undo, here's an undo button so that you can undo anything that you've done. So you can see small. This one has a lot of pressure sensitivity. So depending on how hard you press, it's going to change it greatly. And then with the thick, you can absolutely get thick, but can also get thinner. So if you're doing any calligraphy, you can get those skinny and, and thicker lines as you are working. It also works great to just have a nice effect when you draw. Next one is the crayon or the pastel. I like this one because it does have some texture to it and has a little bit of a bumpiness to it, which adds a great look to it. You can see there's just a little bit of texture in that one, which is kind of cool. Next one is I call the square paintbrush. And let me move this up just a scooch. And this one again has a little bit of texture with it, but has more of a flat edge when you are doing it. And with this, you really see this one when you go straight out, you get that streakiness that you can see as you are drawing. So that looks kind of cool. 
Next one is another one of my favorites, which is the watercolor brush, which is very realistic, I believe. So again, you can see small. It really does have a watercolory look, a watercolory edge and large. And you can see how that colors in. Great for coloring in on things. This one also does have some of that transparency. So you do get a little bit of an overlap when you go over top of something. So if you're filling in a large area, you want to do it all in one swoop so you don't get the overlap. And then we also have the airbrush here. And this one gives you kind of almost like a sparkly look to it in some cases or, you know, a lot of texture to it. So here we got small, medium, and large there, which again, that's very, very large. So great for background areas and stuff. And I already talked about using the undo button as a way of undoing mistakes and you can undo many times or you can redo. Uh, and I find that is the best way to correct things that you don't like. There also is an eraser tool right here. And so the eraser tool you will have like a small, so you can get in real close for details, and then a medium, and then obviously a large. But you have to be very careful because sometimes if you have a background in, you will not, you will not want to erase because it's going to erase the background. So a lot of times I do suggest use the undo rather than the eraser. Just depends on the circumstance. So a couple other things here. Um, you can, if you tap on this, these three dots here, gives you some options to bring things in and to send them out. To save this as a photo, I would tap on this one right here, the box with the arrow going up. And it's going to give me options. I can um, like, email it to somebody, you know, text it. You've got different options here. But in most cases, you want to just save it as an image. And so that's going to save it to your photo album. You'll see the little bird is going to run. And then if you go into your photos, you will see that picture will be saved. It also does have an option to auto save. And so um, that is something in the settings that you can turn on and off and it will automatically save your picture as you're working on it. You can also, to close this down, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. First of all, you can tap on those three squares there and that will close it off. I'm gonna tap it back open. There's another way that you can close it off and that's just simply like, whoops, I just crashed. A simply a little pinch like that will also close it down and let me tap it open again. And remember with all of these, you can pinch in and out. And so if you're drawing with detail, definitely you want to pinch in and then pinch out as you are working. So you can control what you are drawing and get the details. Now, if you don't have an Apple Pencil, you can still draw with a stylus or you can draw with your finger. The finger will work great as well. However, you will not get that pressure sensitivity like I showed here, where the harder you press, the thicker and darker it gets, and the skinnier and lighter it gets, the lighter you press. So that's a quick overview of the drawing tools in Teosui Sketches School. And I'm going to make another video that will show you some tricks with these bottom tools and how to use them. Thanks for joining me.